Let's say you want to do a one-tail test, but the software you're using only gives you results for a two-tail test. What I'm about to share with you works for both a z-test or a single sample t-test. So for this particular scenario, let's say we're comparing a sample mean to a known or hypothesized population mean. Population is normally distributed, sigma is known. So that's why normally you'd be doing a z-test in this case. Now, focusing on the null hypothesis, it says that the sample mean should be less than or equal to the population mean. First thing, is the evidence consistent with the null hypothesis? Because if it is, we're just going to keep the null hypothesis. And in this case, it truly is. A sample mean of 96.03 is less than or equal to the population mean of 100. So we would retain the null. We don't even look at the statistics. What about this scenario where, again, sample mean, according to the null hypothesis, is less than or equal to the population mean, but the sample mean is 108.38, and our population mean is 100. In this case, the sample mean, contrary to the null hypothesis, is actually larger than the population mean. So now the Z, to Z statistic is actually interesting. So we focus on that. And if we're going to do a one-tail test, but the results are for a two-tail test, there's two different ways we can address that. The first way is you just take that significance two-tail and you divide it in half. So you take that 0 0.098, divide it in half. You compare it with the alpha level of 0.05. And since it's less than or equal to 0.05, because 0 0.098 divided in half is 0 0.048. Why? We reject the null hypothesis. But there's an easier way. Since our alpha level is 0 0.05, instead of dividing the significance two tail in half, we could just double the alpha level for this comparison. We're not changing the actual alpha level. We're just doing it so we can do a one tail test. And if our alpha level is 0 0.05 and we double it, that means we would make the comparison with 0 0.1. So what does that look like? We have this 0 0.098, that's our significance two tail. We compare that to the alpha level of 0.05 times two. So that's 0 0.098, and we're interested, is it less than or equal to 0 0.10? And again, if the significance two tail is less than or equal to 0 0.10, for any of these times when you want to do a one tail test, but results are for significance two tail, why you reject the null? Both of these methods are equivalent to one another when you're working with significance two-tail, but you want to do a one-tail test. Given that 0 0.098 is less than or equal to 0 0.10, we would reject the null hypothesis. 